Hello everyone welcome to my channel please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Coronation Street's Carrie Quinn, being victim of sectarian hate crime prepared me for latest role. Coronation Street star Carrie Quinn has revealed she was once put out of her home in a sectarian attack. Carrie, best known for playing fiery Vicky Jeffries in Corey, says the traumatic ordeal has informed her latest role in Burnt Out a psychological thriller about a married couple who run into trouble with bonfire builders. Set on the Rathcool estate in Newtown Abbey, the play sees an affluent young couple sucked into a world of suspicion as a bonfire takes shape in front of their house. It wasn't really an unusual role for me to play because I have been on the receiving end of a sectarian hate crime, so I have been Cheryl, said Carrie, a Catholic from North Belfast. It happened several years ago, it's done, it's in the past, you move on from it, but it was a massive eye-opener, and it showed me how much this is still happening. We had to sell the house and move, suffice it to say, it was a long time ago and is done now. I knew when I first read the script I'd be able to delve into that experience. The paranoia and the power of the mind. Now don't get me wrong, I did have a lot of unwanted attention in my situation, but those themes resonated with what happened to myself. In terms of connecting with the subject matter, I don't think it matters if you're a Catholic or Protestant, a hate crime is a hate crime. It's awful, no matter who it happens to, and with the cast bringing in all their personal experiences as well, we felt like we had all angles covered. When we started rehearsals, for example, I kept saying, Oh God, or Oh Jesus, and the writer Gary Mitchell said to me he didn't know many prods who would invoke God or Jesus in that way. Every day is a school day, and he was keeping us right in how people in Rathgold should be represented, so he was very much steering us in terms of the language which was helpful. The all homegrown cast features Callan Byrne, Bloodlands, Caroline Curran, Soft Porter Patrol, award-winning young actor Shannon McNeese and Terry Keeley, 71, Dairy Girls, who also happens to be one of Carrie's best buds. Revealing how the pair bonded over a weekly diet of wine and nibbles, she continued. It's been a lovely job so far, and Terry is actually one of my best friends, so it's been amazing working opposite him. We've been friends for 20 years, he's one of the most talented people I know, Having that much skill to work with is a real joy. We have a thing called Wine Wednesdays, where we meet up every week and get drunk with cheese and crackers. It's great. I met Terry 20 years ago through the Rainbow Factory Performing Arts School, and over the years we've grown closer. He's like a bad smell. I can't shake him. We've done a few things together in the past, so this isn't the first time. It makes the job a lot easier when you're up there with a mate. Carrie has also starred in popular homegrown BBC cop drama, Hope Street, which returns to our screens tomorrow night. Mum of One Carrie had just finished filming this latest series of Hope Street when Burnt Out came along, and although feeling very burnt out herself, she knew the time was right to tread the boards once more. She added, This job just came along at the right time for me. I've been thinking about getting back to theater and wanted to do it, it's a completely different beast and craft to TV. It also just so happened I was finishing Hope Street at around the time this came up so it all just fell into place. I've worked with Gary Mitchell before. He's an amazing human being and a fantastic storyteller. The script pulled me in too. I had to think about my daughter Liddy and childcare, also as I'd been crazy busy with work previously, and I could have been doing with a break but I felt like the universe was telling me to do the play. There was loads of different things, and it all just felt like everything was pointing towards it, so I thought, everything happens for a reason, so let's try and reconnect with theater. It's going to be something you either love or hate. The performances are great, but it might just not be everyone's cup of tea. It's been a real mixed bag. People have said it's great, whereas others have been a bit like, meh. It's been done before. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.